the closer you get to understanding the Egyptians an 164 degree path and what is most important about this star is that this star represented a god the closer you get to the knowledge of this star the closer you get to understanding the Egyptians and understanding all things where you find this star is where you find the end to the mystery of the Great Pyramid of Egypt. The star of Enlil represented an ancient god of Sumer, Babylon, and Egypt. And this god is not alone. Enlil is accompanied by two other gods of the ancient world, Anu and Ea. These gods may seem foreign to you right now, but time will illuminate your understanding. These three gods represent the meaning of the three pyramids of Egypt, and they tell us why the Egyptians built the pyramids. The gods of the ancient world are not so ancient, because these three gods are still the gods of our world. The first god whose name is Enlil, in time became Elil, and Elil became Elohim. The god Anu, which means creator or all-powerful, is today called God Almighty. And the third god was called Ea, which is pronounced Ea, and it became Ea, and Ea became Yahweh. Today one of these stars is now named Moth Allah, as it is said to be the place where one met Allah. These three gods are the eternal gods of this earth and when humanity was young they came down to them and walked with them and taught them how to build and to write and to create. But more importantly they taught them of the skies and from where they came. In these ancient star charts we find the home of the gods of this earth and they are all found near the Andromeda galaxy. The home of the gods Elohim, Yahweh, and the Creator are all found as three separate stars. And each star is aligned in the cosmos as a constellation the Egyptians would call a pyramid constellation. We of our day would call this configuration of three stars a triangle or triangulum constellation. This triangle of the three gods is why the Egyptians built the pyramid and why they chose the shape of the triangle or the pyramid. Many on earth believe the pyramids were made to honor pharaohs and queens. They were not. The pyramids were not made to honor men and women, but rather they were made to honor God. The gods can look down from the heavens and see what man has done and they will know he honors them. And more importantly, it demonstrates that they remember all that they were taught about the stars and of the house where God dwells. The Great Pyramid of Egypt is the greatest altar ever erected to any god on the face of the earth. A simple and yet powerful gesture of praise where one massive stone is laid upon another even unto the heights of the heavens. It is from this work where all other religions give the same honor to their God. Every holy man from the birth of the pyramid until today would also honor their God in this same manner by placing one stone upon another as an altar to their God. The magnificence of this knowledge is tempered by an equally astounding discovery adjacent to the house of God there is another constellation of stars just below the house of God and this constellation is the root of all understanding. The beginning of this understanding is found in the first civilization on earth, Sumeria. Dating back some 5,000 years we find our first clues to the brilliance of ancient man. In Sumerian reliefs we find pictograms of angelic beings giving honor to a very strange and underdeveloped tree 